What's up, everyone? Welcome to Listen Right. Today, I want to show you how to turn a regular, you know, M340i steering wheel into, you know, carbon fiber M3 style. So, keep watching. So, first things first, you gotta go to your trunk and get to your battery. It's under the cover on the back. Then, you will need a 10 millimeter socket just to go in and remove your negative terminal from your battery. This pretty much disconnects your car from any electrical sources and will not gonna cause any issues as you work on your vehicle. Now what you gotta do is go back inside your vehicle and locate two little lines on the back of your steering wheel. They're both on left and right sides and you will need a screwdriver that has a flat top. So sometimes what people do is they cut off the top of their screwdriver to make it flat or anything Pretty much that has a flat head because now what you gotta do is gonna make a hole i know it kind of hurts because you have to make holes in your steering wheel but that's what you gotta do and then there's gonna be this channel like i'm showing you here and a rod that you literally have to push and this rod is what it's gonna do is release the airbag so with a little finagling you should be able to push on it and the airbag should get into somewhat of an open position right so here i'm showing you pretty much where i got to this point where the airbag is released but not fully right so now what you gotta do is just finagle with it a little bit more until the airbag completely releases here i'm showing you pretty much how that's done i know it's kind of hard to see what i'm doing but what i'm literally doing is go just going through that hole and just trying to push very carefully until the airbag releases just like that so when you get to this point, you'll have one electrical connection that you have to remove. Here I'm showing you exactly what you have to push with any type of like a screwdriver and then as well as pull it. It's hard to do it with one hand, so here I'm doing it with both hands, but I want to just say important, be very careful with this connection. This is your airbag connection. You don't want to mess with that, right? So now when it's off, you'll have to get yourself a heavy duty uh, impact gun as well as a 16 millimeter socket to remove the main bolt, right? Don't mind with the dust and everything. This is a body shop uh, impact gun. So here, so you see the dust, but here pretty much you see how you remove it. After the bolt is off, now you have two more electrical connections that you have to remove, one on the top, just like I'm showing you here, and one with the red and black wire. Both of these are just pullable connections. So that means you don't have to use anything else. You just grab onto it and carefully pull and they're gonna come out, slide out, right? After that, you can be able to remove the steering wheel itself now when we have our steering wheel off completely we can start working on it here i'm just showing you a few of the pieces that i'm gonna use to swap with the original oem trim okay and i'll be starting first with the paddle shifters over here i'm showing you the location of two bolts that you have to remove and once you remove them with the t20 screwdriver they'll just gonna fall off the pedal shifter is off you just have to take out the plastic rod not on a flat end but you see on the more of a circular end you just have to use anything sharp and pointy to pull out this plastic rod that holds it in place and once this rod is out the whole thing will just fall apart you just finagle it a little bit and then uh, you know the pedal shifter piece you touch is going to be off the control is going to be separate then you can use your aftermarket or wherever the pedal shifter you get you have to be very careful with how you align it so that it kind of like it's going to like be like these plastic teeth that they have to go inside once they're inside it's gonna become flat and then you're gonna use the, the you know the plastic rod that you took out originally to put it back in so it holds it in place so next we have to remove the main trim of the steering wheel here i'm showing you the location of two of the screws they are at the top and left and right side where you have to remove them as well as you can always refer to your replacement trim just to see approximately where the screws are holding everything in place are so now we just have to go in and remove two of those screws as well as the screws on the back of the paddle shifters right that's why you don't put them back on until we're completely done with the project you don't even have to remove the wiring connections they can just be hanging right there just like that here i'm just showing you that i'm removing them once you're done with that there's going to be a little clip at the bottom that you have to kind of like just pull out the whole uh, trim altogether and few wires that you have to remove here I'm showing you one of them and the second one this one is for the heating steering wheel if you have that option next is gonna be two more screws just like I'm showing you right here they're gonna be more towards the left and the right side and these are the last screws that are holding the top plastic cover 
in place. So now the top trim cover will just be removed just like that. It's gonna literally fall off. And now you have to remove all the screws that are holding the buttons, the steering wheel buttons, as well as the wiring for it. It's all gonna come together as one piece. So please take a picture of um, pretty much what it looks like uh, before you start touching it and then transfer it directly onto your new piece like word for word or I would say exactly exactly how it is on the OEM piece. Make sure you do a very good job and neat job on this part because you don't want to take off and redo all of this again just in case if we did something wrong or misaligned. Flip the new piece multiple times, make sure everything is on, like all the buttons on the left and the right side as well as the heating button if you have it. All right, and now you just have to put everything back together. Just remember to put in the top piece, add whatever extra buttons you wanna add up there. There's a lot of options, so which you can add to the steering wheel at this point and what you can buy, right? Remember to put in your main trim uh, piece back in, all the screws, all the connections that I originally took out, put them back in. Don't forget the back screws right behind the pedal shifters. And once you're done with that, just screw everything in and you'll be all set. Now, when we are back in your car, just remember to put back in all your electrical connections as well as do a good job with that 16 millimeter board. It's, it's crucial because it's the only thing that's holding your steering wheel in place during driving. And at the airbag, don't try to jam it in like crazy or punch it or anything like that. Be very gentle with it, apply a little bit of pressure and you're gonna hear that click. It has to be aligned perfectly, but then you'll hear the click and it's gonna go straight in place and you'll be done with that one. So that's it, that's pretty much your steering wheel. I love how it turned out. You can't even tell this is not like an M3 steering wheel. Looks very clean and gives a definitely a big sport wipe to this vehicle interior. But that's it guys, that's how you do it. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully it's gonna help you out, you know, in the quest to making your car a little bit more better looking than it already is, right? So please subscribe and I'll see you next time.